Huh. Okay, so you think you want to go see a chiropractor. I want to give you six questions that you can ask before you actually choose a chiropractor. Because there's a lot of chiropractors out there, you want to find one that's right for you. So there are five questions you should ask the potential office that you're thinking about going to. And there's one question that you should ask yourself. All right, let's start with the office. When you call the office, it's fair to ask these five questions. One question is, uh, what kind of examination can I expect when I come to your office? It's a good question because some uh, chiropractors don't require an examination. They'll just plunge in and start adjusting. Uh, I think that's a little bit dangerous because there are some things that a chiropractor should be aware of before we start making changes in the spine. So an examination may include range of motion, some orthopedic tests, neurological tests, depending on the complexity of your presenting uh, symptoms. Uh, it may include x-rays, particularly if there's been an, uh, a trauma or some, something that shows up in the exam that may not make a lot of sense or be real clear, it might be appropriate to have x-rays taken. All right, so that's a fair question. What examination can I expect? Number two, a fair question might be to ask, what techniques do you use in adjusting the spine? It's a good question because within the world of chiropractic, there are a lot of different adjusting techniques. Everything from very light adjusting techniques where you hardly know you've even been touched to the traditional twisting and crunching, quite strong adjustments and everything in between. There are instrument adjustments. There are computerized instrument adjustments. There are a lot of different techniques that chiropractors can use. You need to find a chiropractor who uses a technique that you're comfortable with. For instance, some people don't like the twisting and crunching of traditional adjustments. Uh, other people really like that and get some good relief with that. On the other hand, uh, you should have a chiropractor who has a number of technique tools in their toolkit because if one technique doesn't get the result you're looking for, they should be able to draw on other things that they're familiar with and, and qualified in to find the right technique or combination of techniques for you. So that's a second question. What kind of adjusting techniques do you use? A third question that you ought to ask is what kind of a treatment plan can I expect? After the chiropractor does his exam and consultation with you, the chiropractor should come up with a plan of treatment to get to the goals, the, the outcome goals that you're looking for and that the chiropractor agrees with. There are basically three types of treatment plans. One is a crisis intervention or a symptom-only relief kind of adjustment plan. That may take a very few adjustments, may take up to a dozen adjustments, may take a little bit more depending on the complexity of your case and how long you've had your symptoms. Uh, but that's crisis intervention care. A second kind of care is stabilizing care. After you get rid of your symptoms, it is valid to want to continue on in care to get the underlying causes stabilized so that the symptoms don't come right back as soon as you go back to your normal activities. So that is stabilizing care. It, and it's, and it's uh, practical and useful to dig into that if you, the patient, want to go there. A third type of care is maintenance or preventive care. This is an adjustment on a regular basis. Maybe it's every two weeks, three weeks, every four weeks. I have some patients that go six weeks between preventive adjustments. Uh, and it's designed to find issues before they become symptomatic. It also is designed to maximize your health by keeping all pressure off nerves so you can function at 100% all the time. Not just crisis care, beyond stabilizing care, it's a maintenance kind of thing to make sure you can be as healthy as you want to be and deserve to be. That's question number three. Question number four has to do with finances. When you go to a chiropractor, there's going to be some finances involved. Uh, does the chiropractor accept insurance? Your insurance. Our office participates with every insurance company we can get our hands on because we want to help those people get the care they need. Some, pa some patients don't have insurance, so is there a cash plan that's at a lower rate? Sometimes a chiropractor will discount their fees a little bit because they don't have all the work and paperwork and follow-up of insurance filing and insurance billing. So you, they may have cash uh, rates, cash fee rates available for you, the patient. It's valid and understandable to ask those questions. The fifth question has to do with just your curiosity. It's the question I get most often from patients after their first adjustment. Okay, that was the adjustment. When will I feel better? 
So you could ask the chiropractor or their staff, when can I expect to feel better? How soon can I expect this back pain or neck pain or headache to go away? Well, it's a tough question because everybody's different. If a chiropractor answers, I can get you feeling better in three adjustments, I'd be a little careful with that because there's no way that chiropractor can know that. Uh, it's, it's difficult to tell without examination, without consultation, without an adjustment or two to get a feel for how quickly your body is going to heal. So it's a valid question just to rule out that I can fix you in two adjustments answer. I would shy away from that office. Okay, question one through five are questions you ask the office. Question six is a question you need to ask yourself. And that question is, why am I going to a chiropractor? It's worth answering that because there are a number of answers you can come up with. One is, I want to get feeling better today. Well, if you just want to get rid of symptoms as quick as possible, frankly, take an aspirin. Take some medication. They work quicker than many times an adjustment does. However, if you want to get to the root of the problem, the cause of the problem, and get rid of the cause of the problem so you can heal and feel better and function better and be healthier, then you're heading the right direction. That's a valid reason to go to a chiropractor. A, yes, we want to get you feeling better as quick as possible. But B, we want to quit covering up the symptoms with medications and chemicals, and we want to get at the root of the issue so you really can get healthy and stay healthy. So those are the questions. Five questions for the office, one question to, for you to ask yourself before you choose a chiropractor. Choose carefully, choose wisely. There's a lot of good chiropractors out there. If it's us, we're glad to help you. If it's not, I trust you'll find a good chiropractor to get the help you want and need. Huh.